Hello, and welcome to another Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry. Today's question comes from Zero. And Zero asks, how often should I compensate? Now, Zero, that's a great question. And my first response to you is, how often do you think you should compensate? I know that there's, there are people out there, there's vendors out there who say, oh, you need to only compensate once a week, once a month, once a year. Um, I recommend best practices you compensate for every experiment. Why waste the chance of having an error because of a compensation that's readily fixable by not doing it? I recommend you use beads for compensation because then you're not wasting your cells on compensation and you're using the right antibody to properly compensate. You're meeting the rules of, co of compensation, which we've talked about elsewhere. So compensate for every experiment. Don't shirk on that control. I, I especially when you have tandem dyes, if you have dyes that you don't know how they perform um, and haven't the experience. Now that said, if you take the time and you prove to yourself you don't have to compensate every day, then you have the data to support that. But I would be very, very leery of that because if something happens and it's a compensation problem, who knows what will happen. I did a, 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 came in and did a study for people. They asked me to analyze their data. And I had no compensation in, uh, data for that, and they didn't compensate every day. And there were problems with the data that could have been resolved if I had had compensation controls. So those experiments were lost because of that. So I cannot emphasize enough that the best practices in compensation are to compensate every single day. Thanks a lot, Zero, for your question. Thanks for listening. To, uh, and that's all for this edition of Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your flow cytometry best practices right here with your friends in flow. Team Excite.